Alpha one. I'm good, how are you? Uh, are you the one causing the problems? Oh, so my brother claims. Okay, What's, where's your brother at? What's going on, man? That's alright, I don't need, I need... Hey, we are, we are being audio and visually recorded right now, okay? Right. It keeps from people doing such shit to you and it keeps police from, you know what I mean? Well, that's what the I idea happens, right? Right. So, what's the problem, man? You guys getting a, no. you guys getting a fight or just an argument? Argument, he's been a dumbass because he's been dumb. But, because I was smoking some weed, but. Okay. This is like, the last eight months of my life I've been fucking up, right? Okay. So, basically, long story short, I already with my dad. He's like, I was like, you guys trip out that I was doing that. I got fucking into drugs, all that shit, right? Okay. All that shit, lost my job, you know, the career I was trying to do, all that bullshit, right? You're tripping that bitch at me, all that other shit, right? And then, but nobody's actually running out of the way and fucking trying to do something and be like, hey, I set this up for you, I did this for you, blah, 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 blah. Here, okay, will you go? Will you go, you know? Okay. And then, and then I was like, no one's even done one little fucking thing. And my dad's like, yeah, it's like, so he's like, if I come back from work tonight, I have a rehab place for you, will you go? I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll go, you know what I mean? I'm just fucking, I'm not doing it, I'm just getting high and shit. My brother's being a little bitch tripping about it, so. He called, yeah, you know what I mean? So my dad, who owns a house, you can call him oh, and talk to him. So he's I, so I don't think I need to do that, man. I just want to make sure that everybody's good. You guys aren't... He's being a dumbass. I can't even call the cops, you know what I mean? It's like, you're gonna, you're calling your own brother for some stupid shit, you know what I mean? He's fucking being a fucking idiot. He said, he, he said you were calming down, so I don't want to get you fired back up. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm the same way as I was, you know what I mean? But, Yo, is yeah. he in here? Yeah, yeah. He's probably in the back of I got a... This car's been standing forever. I reparked last night. You know what I mean, back here. Does it run? No, I broke down about three months ago. And then somebody broke my uh, uh, side window with a Heineken, you know, busted it with a Heineken bottle parked over there. Yeah. yeah. Alright, hang tight, okay? I'm going to talk to him. What's up? Good, let's talk over here, sir. What's going on? Okay, well, yeah. To make a short story short, he comes and... I don't know what moving my car around. Negative, go ahead here. Okay. And that's just a little bit what he does. He comes, gets sweet, sleeps for five days, starts problems. Go ahead. Parents get stressed out. Over and over. Okay. It seems like he's calmed down a little bit right now. I mean, okay. does he live here? He says he lives here. He lives here. Okay. He only comes here when he needs to come here. Right. How to get him out of here and try to get him into rehab. Okay. Because it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Okay. No, I get it. I, I get it. Yeah. So how can I help you today? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I can do. Well, if you guys, are, if you guys are trying to get him into rehab, there's plenty of places. Your dad could probably call him and tell him not that way, and he's willing to go. Uh, go. But um, if you want him gone, gone from your house, and you guys can always get a protection order that prevents him from coming here. You know, that's pretty extreme, maybe in this situation, because he doesn't sound like he's aggressive, like assaultive type thing. Oh, smart. he can be. Yeah, he, he knows you're here as well. Okay. He's, really, he's a smart guy. He's just... Not a monster. He's just on dope. That's what he does all day long. He's just a mix. Like, this is called... Can you change my location right from jail? Before, then he wants to flails and just gets violent, I mean, or acts like he's violent. And you can't, you can't even talk to him.
Well, what do you think? What do you think is a good idea? I mean, today, I mean, are you are you the only one home right now? Yeah, my dad just left. Your dad just left. Okay. So you you think you guys can? There's nothing that we can we've done so far. Nothing, we can't do anything. He just doesn't leave. He just doesn't leave. That's, yeah. And if you want him to leave, if you want him gone, then the only thing you can do is go get a protection order. Okay. From this house. From this house. Yeah. And you guys. Because it's it gets worse. It's getting to the yeah, point where you you can tell something's going to sure, happen. Sure, sure. Yeah. I'll explain him the the domestic violence laws of the state of Washington, which means that you guys as brothers can't fight, like physically fight. You know, yeah, I know that. Um, because the, the the primary aggressor, as it's deemed, will automatically go to jail. There's no questions asked. There's no black. It's black and white. There's no gray area that we can work in. As officers, we can work in, right? Where normally we can't. But in most situations, you can't. You, like you're super squared away, okay? You gotta know that if he's pissing you off or whatever, pushing your buttons, you gotta walk away, call him, or whatever. Because you don't go to jail for him pushing your buttons, right? And you, and you knock him out or something. Mm -hmm. um, if he's, if he's lived here, if he kind of lives here and stays here, then I can't kick him out. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And he, yeah, probably, yeah. he probably knows that. He probably does. He, he's smart. He's super smart for a kid. Yeah. You know, it's just whatever is. Well, he's been warned. The parents have said, don't come here. When you're drugged out, don't bring anything here. Don't take anything out. And he still does. Yeah. So it's like. I would I would tell your dad and you, or your dad and one of you, go down and petition for. You go down to the city front desk. Mm -hmm. Go down to. Um, uh, so um, the courthouse, go to the city front desk and say, hey, what do I, what do I go to get a to petition for a no contact order? And you got to fill it out. Okay. Yeah. And then the judge, the judge sees it and then grants it, and then he's got to be served with it. Okay. Um, but in the meantime, today, right now, I can just tell him, hey, you know, your brother would like you to leave. If you want to leave, you know, I can't make you leave, but you guys need to stay apart. You know, don't say anything to him. Don't, you know, you guys just. Trying, do you have to go to work or anything? Yeah, or? I was getting ready to go. Okay, so you're going to be gone. Yeah. Okay. And when we're gone, that's when stuff starts leaving. Mm -hmm. Starts disappearing. Do you guys have, like, do you guys have, like, uh, serial numbers on all your all your equipment that, that he would pawn? Is that, what I'm, is, that what I'm get, is that what I'm thinking? Like, does he pawn stuff? Or I don't know what he does. He's okay. just somewhere. You know, and it's a little by little. You know, little stuff, sure. Like my headphones and just find my jack mm -hmm. out there. You know, stuff like that. Okay. Anything he can grab, he, he grabs and leaves. So, I don't know. I just, just you know, yeah, that's hard of seeing my dad. Dude, I, my dad's super old, you know, and, and my dad has a bad heart. So, whenever this stuff happens, he's just sitting there yeah. drained. He can't yeah. work. And so, it's a big What do you guys do? Huh? What do you guys do? My dad's a tailor. He owns, you know, he actually does a lot of cop uniforms down at Alteration Center. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's so he's pretty much a tailor of any, any anything, seats, and yeah. clothes, drapes, anything you can imagine. Okay. Yeah, so. man, I I would I would suggest going to get an order. That way, if he comes back, he goes to jail, and he ain't gonna come back after a while. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I've heard this. I'm not sure if this is correct, but isn't it if you can get him to break the restraint or he can get help or go into rehab? He can, or, yeah. But if, but if you guys can find him a place for rehab right now, like tonight, he said he'll go. Whether I, and I know that's what addicts say. Yeah. I know that. But if he's in a position, if he's in a vulnerable position, you know, where yeah, where he's he saying, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On dope. Yeah, it's bad. I've never seen him like this. 278. And he says he can't help himself. But he doesn't need help. Right. Th no, that's true. Like that's that's actually uh, true. Female gave that address that they can't she was using themselves. the neighbor's phone. It's an addiction. And then that's said that she was arguing in, in their bodies, in their in their uh, minds. Not strong enough. Yeah, no, no, they no, only know her as the first yeah. name of Amanda. Well, I'll so talk to him. See what we can do. You know, I'll I'll tell him, man. We can't take shit from here either. You know, I mean. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's not yours. Yeah, so, um, I'll try to get him to leave. I can't make him leave. Um, yeah, but I would suggest you or your dad going down to the the, 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 the courthouse. That's actually what I was, I was planning on doing. When you guys doing was. that. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll go talk to him real quick, okay? Yeah. All right. No, no, no. You're not. You're not. Have a good day. What's your plan for today? So you're just going to hang out until then?
what I do every day for sure. Okay. So, uh, you know, I don't know what he said, my, my friend, but basically what he's trying to do is fucking, he's trying to come out of here in my truck, man, and write a meal and shit. Because, you know, it's like I got high yesterday, right? And fucking, he's pissed the fuck off because I fucking, I just car was parked behind that fucking thing right there, though. You know what I'm saying? It's bad. And so, his GL was parked behind the white car, so I wanted to move this car here, right? So I fucking, I was bad. Well, I'll tell you what he's pissed about, okay? He's pissed about he's pissed about how you're upsetting your dad so much because of the way you know you're you're living your life and your acting yeah. and stuff. Okay, but that's what he's most pissed about. Let me talk, okay? Let me explain something. Right, okay? that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So you don't understand, like he's never one thing, but I have all the things that I'm mad about that I've already talked about my dad that he's not telling me. You know what I mean? So like, like, like you're you're like if you know family problems are always one side, someone has one side, and there's other side. So. I already talked to my dad, and he gets off at 6 o'clock, and he goes in and says it. So he says he's going to have a place to go to rehab for me, right? Because I ate last month, so I fucking lost my job. That I was trying to Are you going to be willing to go to rehab? I mean, I understand you're in a place well, right now, at right this moment, that you're going to... Yeah, I, 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 look, I'm trying to get an extra back by January 2nd. That's my goal. Because I just... I got a prison, but I started working for... What did you go to prison for? Uh, like, I had six points, right? And I had a possession of a vehicle, and I had a... Which is obviously the salt, took out the wall from the prison, and then my brother was warning them, right? But I was innocent on. But they thought I had 18 to 10 inches on me because I had stretched up my shoulders, right? And they thought I was in the. 274. Keep going. And then you. Yeah, you can move me over. 274 and. I did the job, I started the job, right, and, I, and then the last eight months, I finally got this card in my name, right, and fucking... Listen, I don't care about... But I got I don't, so... But that's listen. fine, but listen, I don't really care about the car, I don't care no, about no, really, all why, stuff. It's all leading up to this point, why this is happening, that's what I'm saying. So, like, and I got to the mess, and they're tripping out about it, because they know what yeah, I'm going to do. Yeah, because it, stuff's starting to be missing, and that's what happens with meth addicts. Oh, no, it's no, things no, start no, being taken. Well, that's you what gotta listen to what my dad says. If my dad says I believe it, if he says it, don't okay, believe it. Okay. Well. Okay. Are saying? you are you willing to leave until no. your dad gets back from work? No, I'm willing to. I mean, I'm, I was. He usually leaves himself. He goes out to the Walmart house and shit. You know, he has another house. We have another house we have a model, a Walmart queen. So I'm usually here just chilling by myself at home. You know, I go out and get high for a couple days, and I come home. I'm trying to get away from that shit. Because, you know what I mean? Okay. Well, well I'm I'll not, tell you I'm not two things then. If you're not willing to leave, then okay, you don't. You don't need to be taking anything out of the house. I haven't. I okay, haven't, I'm just man. telling you this. He's okay. Oh my God, I want to and then, be and then you. Well, okay. Do you understand this? But the no, domestic can't. violence. No, you can't lay ha hands on anybody in your family. I know, family. I know, because he's lying. He's making you okay, believe. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not believing anything. Okay, I'm just telling like, you. I don't want to fucking see, man. That's one of the things that hates me. I've been doing okay. this for months. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave. Okay. I don't want to have to come back. Yeah, tweakers do do stuff. You're right. He's just saying he's gonna hang out until his dad gets home, and then. Hopefully go to rehab if he's got a place for him. Yeah, I'm on so. this right now. Okay. This if you go get that restraining order and you get it in hand by whatever time, then you know somebody can come up here and serve it to him, and then he can't come back. So that's up. To, I'd call your dad, see what he thinks. Yeah, you know, two just can't. Can't. No, no, I know. Yeah, he just, he's old. I know. It's plus it's and it's his son. It's yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Okay. And I'm old, so I gotta put up with this bullshit. Well, I would just try to keep keep your keep your distance. Okay. All right, man. All right. Thanks, yeah, man. Good luck. Numbers two nine zero nine three one one. Your three parties got me that way. See if she's on her way out here to pick up her dad. Make sure she knows where it's at. No, I guess it's kind of free at Regal, just to the west a little bit. Yeah, man. 